from Swamico, Wisconsin, it's time for high school football. It's a top 10 division one matchup as number three Kimberly visits number eight Bayport on the Sports Showdown presented by Bell and Health. So we're going to see him on both sides of the line tonight. Here's Stevens taking himself first down across the 50 and into papermaker territory. It's uh, it's a lot different than it was five years ago or three years ago. We've well, been around for a while, John. Yeah, we have. <laughs> we have. Stevens as a man cutting across, coming to the near sideline, nice breaks job. a tackle across the 30-yard line and brought down. Big play for the or for the uh, Pirates that are moving the chains once again. Decision here, John, because it's fourth and two sitting on the eight-yard line. What do you think here, Coach? You know, they really had that bootleg well covered on that last play, but they've got the wide side of the field. Whatever they do, I have to think it's going to the right side, maybe a toss to the right. I haven't, I mean, I've, I think I've been wrong before. I mean, we've been doing it 22 years, <laughs> so it's no guarantee, but, or a dive up the middle that does that not work. And he did not get in for the first down. Big so number 98, one more time, Tyler Hinn with the stop. So Kimberly will start this drive on their own nine yard line. Quarterback sure. is Braden Ellefson. Yeah, their offensive line, 6'5", 285, 6'3", 270, 6'4", 250, 6'3", 260, and 5'11", 225. And a nice run to start this uh -oh. one. It broke uh -oh. up. 40, 50. One man, he He's got a convoy of blockers with him. Foot race, and he does. 91 yards on the first play of the season for the Kimberly Papermakers, and they take the lead in Swamico. Wow, was that impressive. He just absolutely exploded out of that offensive line. That big offensive line gave him the opening and watch him put on the wheels. Out of the shotgun, he takes it, Marcus Duquette, and just goes the difference. That was incredible. Who comes out in the shotgun on your first offensive play of the season on your own eight-yard line, Teddy? <laughs> the Kimberly Papermakers do, John. <laughs> Third and six coming up, midfield. Allison wants to go to the air this time. Has a man Le wide open. Right side, and he does have that man. He connects with Jeremy Dirks, and Dirks. Taken down near the 10-yard line. A huge play for the papermaker. Inside the Gallagher's Pizza Red Zone now. Up the 11. 11-yard line, so first and 10 from the 11. They can get a first down. We'll go with a couple of receivers to the left this time. Ellison to Doucette. Keeps it nope, Ellison will keep it. He'll try the He's left side, it. and he is in. Fancy footwork there. Great fake. Brayden Ellison, the first touchdown for him tonight. Welcome back to Bayport High School, where Kimberly leads Bayport 14 to nothing as we begin the second half. And as we were coming out of break, take a look at this return. Yeah, that's outstanding. What a way to start the second half. Once again, for Kimberly, went in with that 14 to 20 or 14 to nothing lead. Keegan Plow takes it on the uh, kickoff and takes it up right smack to midfield. A third and six from the 46 for the papermakers. Well, Seen that a lot tonight, and that is picked off. Nobody in front of him. Yeah, Ellison, the, the only one that could possibly catch him, and he gets by him. Touchdown, oh, Bayporns for the touchdown. Wow. Mikey Jones. Did he read that one perfectly? They've been running that out pattern the entire first half. They tried it one more time. The intended receiver was Carter Howard, and he wins the foot race and breaks the tackle. How to turn a ball game around in a play. So Kimberly back to work here. First time they've had to play after some adversity. And here we go. Ellison. He's got some room Holy across cow. the 50 yard line. So there we go. Third and goal in the from shotgun. the one yard line. It's Ellison again. And dives Edward in, dives, and there yeah. it is. Kimberly with the touchdown. Brayden Ellison, his second score of the night. 21 to 6. Kimberly leading Bayport as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Kimberly number three in the state. Bayport number eight. So 
first and 10 from the 15. And Ellison is back in the game. He goes to the end zone. Is that caught? Yes. What a great catch by Carter Howard. What a great pass. Well, we were wondering about Ellison. Yeah, he's okay. Comes in and just throws a dime in the corner of the end zone. Nice job. Carter Howard as well. Puts it up with a lot of air and goes up and makes a great play. They've gained about a foot and a half. And, I mean, obviously you can't say four down territory, but, boy, to give the ball back to Kimberly again, if they have to, is going to be almost curtains out. Curtains out, lights out. It's there you have a nice man. play. That's going to be a first down and then some to the 50-yard line, and now he's off to the races. The 30, the 20 caught from behind as he crosses the 20-yard line. Parker, what a great play. Parker Betts with a great job and a great tackle saving the touchdown. That play was huge. Everybody thought he was down, John. I know. <laughs> Take another look. And right there, they thought maybe is he going out of bounds? They had a hand on him. Boy, and look, at, look at our man, though, Mikey Wilds <laughs> chasing him down. That's just kept going. Yep. Ochodovic, just a sophomore. Where's number 25? You got to be pretty good to be a sophomore and get some playing time at this level, don't you? <laughs> well, and with this program, too. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> nice hole. Look at this. Looking for six. Touchdown. And there he is, Jackson Ochadovic again, the sophomore, into the end zone for the Pirates. Big, big, big drive, big series. Still have life. And they line up for two, as you, as you mentioned. Need this conversion. Matt Stevens under center to put a man in motion. Stevens rolls to his left, has a man, and the two-point conversion is good. Nice job. Anthony Lefevre came from the backfield. They faked to him, just found that soft spot in the defense, and took in the pass for the two-point conversion. Well, we got a two-point or a two-touchdown two game. game. Yep. Yep. Oh, Kept great the knee. job. Yeah. Nice job keeping his knees off the ground. Kimberly Punter standing on the 30-yard line. Gets it up high, booming punt. Wow, beautiful punt. Back to the 10-yard line, down to the 5. And it's I think loose. It's recovered by Kimberly. And it is. It is. Wow, big play. Big number 94 for Kimberly. Carter Erdman, 5'10", 195. Carter Erdman, that was a big play for you, young man. What a booming punt, though. Incredible punt. Wow, and Carter on the spot right there. I'm just <laughs> telling you what I think. I don't know how it would be paid for. I'm just telling you what I think. Okay. Have another car wash or something. Look at this kid once again, Teddy. Talk about that young man, Keegan Plew. Nice, nice job. Nice job. Exploded in that hole. Nice second half here. Yeah. For Keegan. Does a nice little stutter step, kind of lets the defense, or lets the... Uh, Offense blocked. Very impressive, Kimberly. Very, very impressive defense. I mean, obviously they scored 35 points, which is big, but that defense shut down Bayport. Big win for the Kimberly Papermakers, 35-14 over the Bayport Pirates.